So Dr. David Cartland, who is a skeptic of the COVID policies, posted these statistics recently, and I'm reposting them here on YouTube um, because I would love to hear from those people who were very pro the vaccine to find out if there's a mistake here in the thinking. I don't trust anybody. We're all open to cognitive biases. I'm sure he is, and I am. Um, and obviously, these, these statistics confirm my bias. Um, but I just want to read them out to you. There's something called the number needed to treat. It's a medical term. Number of people you need to treat with any particular drug for one person to benefit. So these are from the government statistics in the UK. Um, NNV is the number needed to vaccinate. So how many people you needed to vaccinate for one person to a benefit? And these are all for groups of people who are uh, not at risk. And we start with the 50 to 59 year olds and we can see that they had to vaccinate 256,400 people in order for one person to be prevented from hospitalization in the 50 to 59 year olds. Then there's 40 to 49 year olds, 932,500 people had to be vaccinated for one person to be prevented um, for severe hospitalization. And then you've got this astonishing figure of 30 to 39 year olds where there was not one case of anybody being hospitalized um, for COVID um, apparently in that group, which means that everyone in that age group that was injected um, was subject to a possible side effect. And we know from the yellow card reporting system in the UK that there were plenty of people who did suffer side effects. And then you've got the 20 to 29 year olds where they had to inject 706,500 people in order for one person to benefit. And once again, they were uh, subjected to risk from taking these injections. So I'd love to know where the thinking, if, if there's some wrong thinking here, it's possible, uh, please let me know um, or, and please share this with your friends and family who are keen on the injections.